What's up guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about some information we got today from once again EA's stream today, um, done by Nick of course. And he did give a little bit of information as to arena changes and competitive changes that would be coming down the line in the next couple weeks to the next month. So within the next two, three, four weeks, we are going to be seeing some arena changes and I will be talking about some of the tentative changes that they talked about today in the stream as well as add a couple of video snippets from the stream itself uh, to show you guys exactly what they said. And of course, before we start, most of this stuff is unofficial, right? It's not going to be completely set in stone because these things are two, like I said, two to four weeks in advance, um, this information. So there will be way more information next week, way more stuff broken up. And of course, I may make some videos on that stuff as well to talk about some of those changes more in depth. But here's what we have so far. So from Mar uh, March 8th and March 22nd, those are two different dates, we will likely see some arena changes and competitive overall adjustments. And of course, this could change that was mentioned a lot of times throughout the stream. Um, now we have new arena, right? New arena, daily arena, and elimination tournaments are going to be included more towards the 22nd. And it was quoted as replacing arena entirely. So I'm going to include a video snippet right here so you guys can hear it for yourself. We're going to talk about the new arena, daily arena, elimination tournaments, all that stuff is going to come in. That's going to replace an arena entirely, except community arena will still be around. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have some all sorts of cool things there. So you guys heard that there. Obviously, we are going to be getting some changes with arena, it looks like. So keeping the community arena, but also adding in like a, a type of elimination arena, so like an elimination tournament type thing. And also a daily arena, so I don't know what that means. Of course, we're going to have more information soon, but that is one thing they said. Now, another thing is they said the League Store won't be really updated. So as you guys know, the League Store here in-game, we've had the same League Store since day one. We had the base rare players and stuff and the epic players here. Your tab over here gives you extra currencies, and also you can get packs over here, which, oh, you know, this stuff is pretty much outdated. Um, and, you, you know, you would think that you'd want this stuff to change, throughout the season, but they do, are not going to be changing the league store. There are a lot of other things it looks like they're focusing on, so honestly, I'm okay with that. You can still get coins and stuff from here. If you want to open up these packs, you can do that still, but the league store is probably going to stay the way it is for the rest of the season. That's at least what I think, because they won't be changing any stuff there. We have draft tournaments won't be available immediately, but will be implemented at a later date. So that he went into specifics about, you know, how it's a little bit of a different, a different thing this year, where last year they had it for every field pass. But this year, they're going to try to implement it a little bit differently so it's not like the main center of focus when you're grinding it. Whatever that means, we'll see down the line. But draft tournaments should be coming, but not right when they have all these updates on the 8th and the 22nd, which again are tentative dates, meaning that they are not set in stone. It could change. Now, another thing he said is practice squad. So practice squad would be when you can send out bench players for rewards. Um, this would be around the March 8th update they mentioned. So... If you think back to last year with the Madden Today Scouts, last year they had a thing on the map where you could basically click it and send out a, a figurative scout, right? And you could say two hours, four hours, eight hours. And the longer that you waited for that scout to go out, the better reward you would get. And I think it was just like a, sil a couple silver players or a gold player for one of them, depending on the hours. So we might see a similar thing to that. Nothing too crazy, I don't think, but it is a new feature they'll have in the game. Now, that's pretty much it for the competitive changes, of course. That stuff we're going to have more information on next week. And it's slated for within the next couple weeks to a month. You'll see some of those changes in the game. Um, next thing here, moving away from those competitive changes, of course, we have some field pass information. So pertaining to Season 7, um, coming after the current field pass. And then also, you know, when it comes to promos, Nick mentioned that there will be a pendulum swing in terms of return on promos again in between the two field passes. So I guess what he means is what you're what we've seen is playoffs, right, is different from Pro Bowl. Playoffs was way better than Pro Bowl. Then we go to a good promo in Super Bowl. And then now here we are in Team of the Year where it's very, very average, very, very mediocre and not that great. So he's, think, he's saying that along with Combine and these other promos that are heading into S7, we should start to see some of the changes that we want, such as being able to get more players, right, or being able to do more of what we want in promos rather than being very limited like we are in Team of the Year. Now, next thing here is going to be the thing I have a video snippet for as well. Field pass changes are to give more stuff soon, quote, more of a battle pass, work for less, and just kind of get it. I'll put the video snippet right here. I, I was speaking to some, some of the team this morning, 
And it sounds like they're going to just kind of give you more of the field pass stuff and make it more of like a battle pass purchase where it's going to be you have to work for less of it and you kind of get it. I believe, again, don't quote me on this yet. I'll take a look at it and get back to you. But it seems to be that that's the model where they're going to kind of just kind of give you more as opposed to make you work for it. So that's kind of good. So I'm excited to see what that actually looks like. And hopefully that comes to fruition as well. So basically from what you guys heard there that the, the field pass is going to be working a little bit differently. It seems of course, all this information once again is very unofficial and next week we're going to get a lot more clarification and stuff on all of this, but this is all hot off the press and we're just learning about all this stuff now. But from the sounds of it, it sounds pretty good. Like S2, if you think about it, season two with the Ray Lewis grandmaster, that was pretty rewarding. I would think, you played through the journey a few events, and say someone bought the field pass, you could easily get the Grandmaster on one day. And that's kind of what I'm thinking about what this would be like, where, you know, you're just doing less things and you're getting more. Whereas now with the current field passes like S5 and S6, you had to play multiple events over the course of multiple weeks and work your way up to this player for a very long time. So I'm thinking maybe you're either going to get more rewards quicker, or you're going to, you know, obviously they're going to change the way you get the Grandmaster. But again, we will see... So yeah, that's going to be it, guys, for all of our updates when it comes to competitive with Arena and all that stuff pretty soon, as well as some field pass changes for S7. More information soon. I'll definitely make some videos on that stuff. But that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.